In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in these days, especially in the Arab world, we have the problem of citizenship, but uh, we have just celebrated in the world the Migrants World Day. Refugees or Migrants World Day. Of course, people are, well, I said of course, but it should not be normal for people to be divided. If people are divided, it means that their ideas are not are not clear. When can you welcome a migrant in your country? Is it just out of love? Jesus said in the Gospel, according to St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, Here I am sending you like sheep among wolves, so be mild like goats, but cunning like snakes. So a Christian, uh, a Christian is not supposed to be ignorant. A Christian is not supposed to be vile or, excuse me, stupid without any dignity, without any rights. And the popes, especially Pope John Paul II and Benedict the Sixteenth, among other uh, religious uh, Christian leaders have always insisted on reciprocity, reciprocity, uh, as far as rights are concerned, especially rights of foreign people. Now, uh, democracy is possible, uh, pluralism is possible when people consider themselves equal to each other. But when a part of the people, especially the one who is coming from abroad, the foreigner actually, the, the outsider, when, when he considers himself better than the others, when he considers that everywhere is his country, that he is at home everywhere, that the hosts are his guests, and that he has, that for him, this is a God-given right, well, then democracy is impossible, and pluralism is impossible. It means my house, my country, is my country, but your country is ours. Or my country is my country, and your country is my country. So, we have also the principle of domination. The principle of domination has been clarified by Jesus, who refused theocracy, who refused to be himself head of a state, stating to Pontius Pilate, my kingdom is not from this world, is not part of this world. But theocracy, actually false theocracy, means ruling over the others in the name of God. And in this sense, uh, democracy, pluralism, are the exact opposite of theocracy. Uh, it is good to clarify these things and also to say to the Western world which claims that it has that this being secular uh, that this we owe to the civilization that we owe to atheism this uh, let's say secular civiliz civilization no this we owe the Gospel. We owe Jesus the distinction and the separation between the spiritual and the worldly administration. It is to 
it is to Jesus that it is Jesus who refused theocracy. It is Jesus who declared e equality in the humankind. In humankind. It is Jesus who, through the baptism, declared equality between man and woman, male and female, and St. Paul repeats it in the letter to the Galatians, chapter 3, verses 27 and following. You all who have been baptized in Christ, you are all one in Christ. There is no more any difference, contrary to the circumcision, between male and female, between Hebrew and, and Greek, which means Gentile, non-Jew, and between slave and a free person. Well, may the Lord give us a better knowledge of His person, His word, and of the world, and the moment we know the truth, we know the truth better, it will set us completely free, and free in the good sense of the word, not free to do evil, but free to do the good, the better, and the best. Thank you for your attention.